Hi guys, welcome back to another little review. This time we're going to go through the new release of the Ruins of Skyro, the character options that has just come out this um, April. It is another re-release of the actual uh, bomber type of Dalek, but now with the Movellans on the actual box itself. Um, love and where it's got this little diorama with it all like in the rocks and stuff. So it's from the fourth Doctor's era, and it's got the episode there from Destiny of the Daleks all the way back in 1979, and we've only just got these figures in 2024. On the back there, it's got its little um, synopsis, and then. All in these like little diamonds, it's just telling you like the height of the figure and what the actual box set comes with as well. But as we actually get this out the box, <coughs> it comes with its own little diorama. So you've got the little accessory weapons on the back there in the big screen with um, Davros in the back there, creator of the Daleks, humanoid mutant. So like the little file type of thing that's going on so the bomber dalek itself it is a re-release but it is quite different especially with the inner ring around as well the bombs are a more vibrant color <coughs> getting the first release of this is very elusive um, and getting hold of it on secondary markets can be very quite expensive so this full set £40 works out about £13-ish each figure within it but like I say if you're looking at only 13 for this the first release can go silly silly amounts so I am well made up that they re-release this one this time round it's more flat type of matte grey with the black shiny hemispheres on it I'm just loving the way these are all round the actual skirt as well so these little bomby things going on it's the usual type of articulation though it's got like the the dome twist left and right you've got the gunner the eye stalks so the little plunger arm and also the rotated wheel and casters at the back on the bottom as well. But yeah, just so impressed that this was able to come back out. So well done, character options. They come with the little um, weapon accessory. They've got tiny little handles on the inside of these. They are like a translucent pink type of plastic, quite hard as well. Two variations. So two variations of the figures. Uh, they are two female figures. I hope that the mould ends up going to maybe the B&M sets and we will see some male figures in this style as well. The detail in, in these are just excellent. They're all like, um, I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but it's all like pearlized white. And also, if I just bring this one in a bit more closer, so it's got like the flexi hair going on, and it's got these little silver, little ball tips all on the end. You've got these little aluminous type of rods and obviously the little gadget on the belt. And I think if I remember rightly, if this was removed, this is how they survive. So if this was removed, they'd be... So you've got the metallic silver belt going round and over the rim of the actual top of the boots. And then because of the planet of Scaro where they were on, on the mountains they've got like little dusting of the dirt on the base of the boots as well 
I think part of this figure was reused from the Clara Oswald figure, but you can literally just you you can't you can't even notice. So I think it was the top part of the legs that was reused as well. But all of this is a full remold. Articulation on them, the heads do spin left and right, arms do a 360, and they do come out because they're on a little ball joint. You've got your bicep, elbow, hand twist. They do twist at the waist, at the actual thigh, and also the knee. And the other, so it's just got different skin colours. And it's not painted skin colour, it's actually been moulded or cast, if you want to call it, in this plastic and the detail and with the eyes and lips has been painted over it, which is, I hope they go this route in the future because it absolutely makes so much of a difference for it. The hands as well has got that like quite flexible type of plastic material as well so it's got that little finger point on them and it's the same with the other as well so like I say these weapon accessories they've got like a little grabber in for the hands where they can just slot in like so but then they've also got on their little tool belt they've got like a little divot sticking out and that can just click on so you can have either or on the little tool belt and if you have collected further sets you could use this diorama to bring in your other figures, so like Romana, or Romana 2, should I say. And obviously, the fourth Doctor as well. So bring him in. So all in all, a little crack and display. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Have you got it? It's, from doing this, it's still available uh, on the Character Options website. Are you getting it? Have you got it? What are your thoughts? Drop those comments in. But thanks for checking in on this one. Do the usual with the like, subscribe, and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. And I will see you on the next. Take care.